The observable universe is still huge, but of course it has limits. That's because we know the universe isn't infinitely old. We know the Big Bang occurred some 13.8 billion years ago. We have a thing called the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which maps the positions of galaxies. So you, you know how much of the sky you've surveyed, and you know how many galaxies you've counted, and then you can spread that across the wider universe. And you get this picture of a vast and possibly infinite universe. We know that the universe, or very strongly suspect, that the universe is much bigger than the piece we can see. So we have good reason to think that's the case. Whether it's infinite or not is another question. Can you picture infinity? Well, no one can picture infinity. We say the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. So that's a measurement, because we can measure the speed that all the galaxies are flying away from us, essentially. It's that you can run time backwards, if you like, to, to find out when they were all on top of each other. It's a quite a simple measurement, and we've done that. So we say the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. But actually, all we know really was the universe was very hot and very dense at that time. And we have some theories that the universe was in existence before that, and perhaps some sort of circumstantial evidence. And that means that actually the universe could have always been there, eternal. When I talk to people sometimes they get a bit, some people get upset about that, some people would rather it had a beginning. The idea that it might have been around forever is more frightening somehow than the fact that it began. And it's, it's interesting the way that people's minds work. The universe is huge, but it is only with recent discoveries that we can realise how inconceivably immense the universe, or even multiple universes, may actually be. Eternal chaotic inflation which generates multiple universes, builds from the theory of cosmic inflation. Although inflation is generally eternal into the future, it is not eternal into the past, Alan Guth detailed in a paper published in 2007. New inflation does not produce a perfectly symmetric universe due to quantum fluctuations during inflation. The fluctuations may cause the energy and matter density to be different at different points in space. Quantum fluctuations in the hypothetical inflation field produce changes in the rate of expansion that are responsible for eternal inflation. Those regions with a higher rate of inflation expand faster and dominate the universe, despite the natural tendency of inflation to end in other regions. This allows inflation to continue forever. Modern physics has radically changed our picture of the known cosmos. It has offered us not only glimpses of what the future of the universe may look like, but it has also offered us a view for the overall shape of the universe itself. 